Dads, what have you learned about what it means to be a father? A lot oh of patience, goodness. too. Um, at first, it's kind of survival mode, so you have to be patient with uh, each other. And then as you get older, um, as she gets older, it's kind of just being patient with any situation that comes because at three and a half, I feel like she's turning into a teenager already, and I'm getting manipulated, and uh, it's uh, learning on the fly. It's fresh for me, four and a half months. Uh, I'm enjoying it though, every moment's just special. The most what you could learn, especially with two babies, is patient. My son actually is he's acting a little older than his age. He's like testing us the whole time. <laughs> Home, he's the good boy, but when we're out, so he knows that we can't like, you know, like home, you can like punish him, like go to your room or whatever. Outside, you need to be nice. So he knows that. <laughs> yeah, so wherever we go, like to the playground oh, or whatever, man. and he starts like to be the father. He's like, no, let's go. He's like, no, we're not going. I'm actually doing pretty good because for whatever reason, she, the little one, likes to pick on the mom. And she, with me, she just hangs out. She knows that. The fun like, dad. Yeah, I'm the fun one. And the mom's like, no, you need to sit down. You need to eat. You need to take your nap at this time. <laughs> and she always gives her a hard time, a pain when she's with, just with the mom. And then when the mom leaves and she's with me, she's like, how is she? And I was like, she was good. She was just hung you out. Can't with that, yeah. You can't I say that, though. I always say it. I rub it in. I it was say really it. tough. <laughs> I learned that one really quick. tough. So yeah. I, first I time, first time she gets so mad. No, don't she say that asleep. anymore. She slept through the night when you weren't here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh. Uh, you know, obviously we were joking around that uh, Father's Day is coming up, but it feels like every day is Mother's Day, you know, because they do so much for us. And so and when you they're, appreciate them you, so yeah, much. You really do, because they're doing everything. We're, we're obviously we're at work right now, and they're doing everything for our kids, you know, whether it's our daughters or sons. And uh, we go home, and we get to be like the fun dads. We get it, you know, it's not as strict for us because they have a routine. You know, that's with my son at least, everything's like a routine. Like, okay, at this time you do this. At that time you do that. You know, it starts off right when they're born. I think I didn't know, and everybody says this, I didn't know I could love something so much. Um, from the moment she was born, it's just like I turned into a basket case. Every little thing, every little milestone, you're just so in love with this little girl that nothing else matters, and you just want to be the best role model. You want to be there for her, and you just want to be a dad, you know? And I think it's, it's those things that uh, you come to appreciate, and you appreciate with your wife having, you know, put in so much work as well, and being uh, basically the first few months, it's like all her. The, yeah, sure. the breastfeeding, the, the napping, and like us working, they, them taking the brunt of it. And then, um, you know, just being a dad is like so rewarding, and uh, just wanting to kind of uphold that standard and be a role model and be their champion as well. The moment you get a baby, everything starts to be about that baby. I mean, anything you do, it's just you, you keep thinking like, before you're like, okay, I'm, I'm doing my job, I'm making money, for example, I'm, I wanna do that, I wanna buy the car, I wanna do, now things change, like, I'm making money, I need to save money for the baby, I need to do that, I, he's going to school, I need, you know, like, everything you do, you know, get involved with that baby in it, you know, or your kids, how many you, you have. Even vacations, or when you get, when you wanna go somewhere, you have to, to decide where you're going, where that the baby could enjoy, it, you know, not you, yeah. you know, because like, okay, you can go wherever, Maldives or anywhere, you will enjoy it, but you need to find a place that the baby would get, you know, will enjoy that place, will remember that trip, so that's the most part, like, surprised me when I get the baby. You're professional athletes, you have tons of fans, tons of responsibilities. How is it balancing being a parent in your private life while being public figures? Especially now, you guys are number one in the entire league, everyone's talking about you. How tricky is it to balance those two worlds? I mean, it's it's different. Obviously, uh, we're under the lights a lot as professional athletes. So, um, especially nowadays with social media, you know, it's a huge aspect of uh, celebrities, professional athletes' lives where they want to see everything, not just on the field, but at home too. So for me, it's just about like a little bit of separation between the two. Um, I don't mind showing a lot of the soccer stuff for me to the fans, but when I get home, it's kind of nice to just be like, all right, your private time like you're just with your son you just got to hang out you get to do things that you know normal people get to do because we're normal people at the end of the day you change diapers yes 100 <laughs> percent. yes so right now i was telling telling the guys that he thinks he's like a play area now like i put him up there and all of a sudden he gets the biggest grin and then he starts wiggling the feet and then he just starts like rolling i'm like whoa <laughs> like relax for a second 
This is Danger Zone. Like, we gotta be careful here. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. The baby's crying. You know he's crying. You know she's crying. Do you pull the I'm asleep and can't hear the cry routine? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Oh man, uh, I think we've all done it at some point. Uh, it's usually at this point uh, she uh, she says either mama or dada. So if it's dada, <laughs> you're just like, you're just like oh, okay. Mama, she said mama, dada, it's on me. If he called you, then it's like it's it's duty time. Like pulling you know, out of a hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you just, uh, <laughs> my name got picked this time. <laughs>